everyone welcome to mentorbuddy.com this is your mentor gurvansh and today we are going to learn about the k nearest neighbor algorithm or the kn knn algorithm so guys this knn algorithm is also a classification algorithm which we use for a non linear classification now this knn algorithm has a certain definition that it is a non parametric and instance based algorithm now the kn algorithm works with these two principles the first is non parametric algorithm non parametric means that guys it does not assume anything or any functional form of the data set for example when we talked about the linear regression i told that the linear regression makes some assumptions uh, assumptions like the data should be linear that there should be a linearity or a linear format when we input the data if we feed a non linear data in the linear regression class this is not going to work so for this purpose knn does not assume any functional form for the data set makes making it much more usable for a non linear case second is instance based so this knn is a special kind of algorithm which has the minimum training time the reason for this is that when we train the knn algorithm the knn algorithm instead of learning about the data set instead of creating the equation for the data set it just simply records all the values so let's say it creates a 2d or 3d map containing all the values it is just creating a knowledge for the training data so as you all know in supervised learning we have the input and the output columns mentioned so when we feed this training data to our knn depending upon the number of classes or categories in the data our knn records the different categories itself it just creates a you can say it just creates a graph and store all of the data point as a knowledge for the new data set to be recognized moving on so let's say we have this we are using this knn algorithm and when we fed the training data our knn was able to make this uh, kind of graph containing two classes or two categories they might not be colorful just for the representation purpose i have mentioned the two colors red and the green color and let's say we feed a new data to it to determine which class does it belongs to so when you feed the new data and apply the knn algorithm it will be able to recognize that this data point belongs to this particular category now as i have told you the training time of the knn is the least as compared to another algorithm in the same time the testing data or the predicting time for the knn algorithm is higher as compared to any other algorithm now the question here is how does it work so here are some steps so first of all as you know the heading or or the full form of knn it's k nearest neighbors the knn work with the by calculating the nearest neighbor of new data point which you are trying to predict so when you talk about the nearest neighbor you need to first determine the number of nearest neighbors you are looking for let's say uh, you are looking for two neighbors three neighbors five neighbors so we have to determine or we have to uh, tell how many neighbors are you looking for it is your job to tell as for the selection of number of neighbors we will talk discuss about that in the future now once this number is set that you want three neighbors five neighbors 10 neighbors eight neighbors the knn algorithm will try to find out that particular number of neighbors depending upon the euclidean distance you can use the manhattan distance also but generally we use the euclidean distance this is step 2 for step 3 depending upon the number of neighbors it has found we will count how many number of neighbors belongs to which category for example let's say we have selected seven neighbors out of seven neighbors three belong to category 1 and four belong to category 2 this will happen in the step number 3 where we will count how many neighbors belongs to which category step 4 is 
we assign the new data point the new data point which we entered we as we will assign that new data point to the category having the higher number of neighbors or having the most neighbors after this is done our model is ready now let's take a pictorial example of these four steps first step is to choose the number of k of neighbors so here we have chosen five so now guys to select the number of neighbors we generally take the maximum number which we go with is the square root of the total number of rows so let's say you have 400 rows so the square root of 400 will be 20 so the maximum number of neighbors you can give is the square root of 400 which will be 20 but we generally do not do this the more number of neighbors we give the more calculating time it will take and to make it easier to make it faster to predict the class of the new data point we always try to give odd number of neighbors the reason over here is that <coughs> let's say you have given 10 neighbors and by chance the algorithm was able to get five five neighbors for both the class it will make the problem hectic <coughs> this is a very rare chance but this can still happen so how what number we give we always try to give a odd number to the number of neighbors and the maximum number of neighbors which we can select is the square root of the total number of rows moving on second step is to calculate the nearest neighbors using the euclidean distance now as for the formulation of euclidean distance it is very easy it is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the whole uh, all of this is under the square root right so this is how you find a Euclidean, dis Euclidean distance between two points now from which points one point will be the new data set you have entered and other another points will be the category categorical points which we already given or the training data which we have already provided step two is take nearest neighbors of the new data point according to the Euclidean distance so what we are going to do we are going to calculate the data points using the Euclidean distance formula let's say these are the five nearest neighbors which the Canon was able to find five nearest neighbors now the Euclidean distance sorry the Canon will calculate the Euclidean distance for almost all the data points but it will just take the five nearest so as soon as it gets around let's say five or ten or twenty points it will stop and depending upon that it will first it will take only the five nearest neighbors next thing is among these neighbors count the number of neighbors in each category now we are going to count in which category how many neighbors are there so in category one according to this we have two neighbors and in category two we have three neighbors step four is assign the new data set to category wherever you counted the most now in the category 2 since we have three neighbors that is the most number of neighbors which we found out of five we will assign our new data point as the category 2 so this becomes a red color point now here is the intuition of the canon algorithm the canon algorithm is known to be the easiest algorithm to work with or the easiest algorithm to learn so and with this our model is ready so now this particular job is done for all the number of inputs you feed into the KNN algorithm so this was it for KNN algorithm guys thank you for joining us on mentor buddy I hope that this KNN intuition is clear to you so thank you guys bye bye take care